Hello fellow makeup lovers, how are you guys doing? Today we're going to be testing out the new Rococo collection from Musée Beauty. I'm super excited about this because the palette's beautiful, they came out with some more cream blushes. I am loving cream blushes right now, so I thought we'd just go ahead and do some swatches and eye look, try out the blushes. Is that not just super stunning? There's like a mixture of some pastels, some neutrals. I feel like it is somehow soft but also vibrant at the same time, so I'm really excited to dig into this. I feel like overall Musée Beauty has really great quality, so I'm hoping that this palette is no different, and I don't even know what I wanna do today, but it just looks super, super nice. I do have an affiliate code with Musée Beauty, so if you're ever interested in purchasing anything from them, you can use my code AmyLoves to save a little bit of money off. Also, if you're new to my channel, I'm so happy to have you here. I do a ton of content about independently owned makeup brands, so if you'd like to see more of that in your subscription feed, feel free to subscribe. <laughs> That's how the subscription feed works. Okay, so let's just go ahead and jump on into swatching the palette. First, we have the shade Shepherdess, which looks like a really beautiful, soft yellow shimmer. And I should say that the palette actually comes with a little pamphlet. Pamphlet? I feel like that's not the right word. Pam pamphlet. I feel like it's a pamphlet, but you know when you just say something and suddenly it feels wrong? It comes with a bunch of information and it actually gives the details behind every single name. For example, Shepherdess is inspired by the yellow tones in Jean Honoré Fregandard's The Shepherdess. <laughs> I'm just showing you up close real quick in case you want to pause it and read for yourself where all the names came from. All right, next we have Courtship, which looks like a really beautiful, soft, rosy toned brown. We've got Marquise, which is like a taupey bronze shimmer. Kind of matches my nails. <laughs> okay. okay, next we have a deep brown, which I want to say is called Grasse, if I had to guess. And it actually looks like it has just like a tiny little bit of a plumness to it. We've got Allegory, which is a really bright coral matte. And then Magdalene. Magdalene? Oh, which is a very soft peach. That one's not wanting to pick up as well. Just, I have, I felt like I had to dig my finger in a little bit more, but those look really pretty. Yeah, so you can see the peach is not picking up as well with my finger, but hopefully it'll um, show up a little bit better on the eyes with the brush. Okay, next we have the shade Triumph, which is like a soft gold metallic and apotheosis, which looks like a more like antique gold. I feel like I'm kind of disappointed by those being in the palette because they feel so overdone. I just, I don't know, they don't feel like really special golds or anything and everything else in the palette is just so cute. I'm kind of like, meh, about those two. Then we have the shade Romance, which is a really pretty purple. Next we have Infatuation, which looks like a really beautiful soft baby pink pastel. Again, that one feels a little bit harder in the pan. We've got Frivolity, which is a really pretty soft rose gold. Joyous, which is a pastel purple. Feels like the pastel shades are a little bit more sheer, a little bit less soft, which I mean pastels can be harder for some brands to get right. So we'll just see. I mean, I'm going to judge it more on the eyes than on swatches, but so far they're looking a little bit less pigmented. Next we've got Grandeur, which is a little bit harder to like stick my finger in with the way that the box packaging is, but that looks really nice and pigmented. We have Madame, which is a little bit of like a lighter teal, but that has like a decent amount of brightness to it. We've got Blue Boy which again is feeling a little bit more sheer. It's kind of like a soft blue, like borderline periwinkle. And then just to finish it off, we'll do Royal here, which looks like such a stunning metallic purple shimmer. Those look really pretty together. Oh yeah, definitely like that last shimmer. So overall, I think it's definitely a really, really cute 
inspiring color story. I'm just kind of curious to get it on the eyes because some of the mattes did not swatch the absolute best. I genuinely don't have a plan at all for what I'm gonna do today. I'm just gonna follow my heart and I'm gonna start off with the Soft Pink Infatuation. So I already primed my eyes with the Anastasia Eye Primer and I'm just gonna start that off on the inner half. Okay, they're not, not looking too bad, not too shabby. Just lightly blending it out. And then just building it up a little bit. And it's definitely a light pastel pink, but I feel like it's showing up better on the eyes than it was swatching, which is what really matters. So just gonna mirror that on the other side. I think next I'm gonna go ahead and take the shade Madgalene, <laughs> the peach. I feel like I'm saying that wrong, but I'm just gonna pick up a little bit and I'm gonna use that on the outer half of the crease. Just kind of blend that together. Okay, next I think I'm gonna go ahead and take the shade Madame. <laughs> and I'm gonna pop that on my lower lash line on like the inner third. I feel like this is gonna end up being a little bit of a rainbow look today. And then I think next to that, I'm gonna go ahead and take the shade Blue Boy. Not even bothering to wipe off my brush because I'm just gonna have those right next to each other and I'm gonna pop that in the middle. Okay, I feel like that's showing up well, especially for not having any eye primer underneath my eyes or anything. And then I'm gonna go ahead and take the shade Joyous and finish that off. Kind of just connecting up to the outer V. So I think what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take some more of the shade Joyous and I'm gonna kind of put that in my outer V and blend it into the crease a little bit. I feel like sometimes purple and peach can be really, really cute together. I plan on going over this with the deeper brownie plum shade but I'm just gonna start off with this and just kind of blend it out a little bit. I mean, honestly, that in itself is cute. I feel like I could do like the pink or the purple shimmer all over the lid and call it a day. But I think I want it to be a little bit more dramatic. All right, now I'm taking the shade Grass or Grass A and I'm just gonna pop that in my outer V just to add a little bit of extra dimension to the look. Kind of blending that into the purple. I'm just gonna go into my previous blending brush and lightly go over that edge, which it did blend super, super easy. For my inner corner, I'm gonna pop into the shade Shepherdess. Like this is a good shade to kind of blend into the green, blend into the pink. Now I'm gonna go ahead and go into the shade Frivolity and just for the heck of it, I'm gonna use it with my brush just cause it's, the shimmer seems to be picking up pretty well with the brush. And I'm gonna pop that on like the inner half of the lid. Definitely a really pretty rose gold. Last but not least, I'm gonna go ahead and take the shade Royal and just using my brush and I'm gonna throw that on the outer half of the lid. and then kind of blending that into the pink. So there is basically the completed eyeshadow look and I do think it turned out really cute. I feel like the mattes actually blended really nicely. The shimmers are definitely very like soft satins and I just feel kind of odd because I was really excited about this palette and I thought I was gonna like absolutely love it. But after using it, I'm kind of just like, yeah, it's nice, but I'm not like overly impressed on first impression. I don't know, I don't know. I feel like there's something I'm missing. However, this is just a first impression. I will definitely play with it more and give you guys my full thoughts in the future. Now I'm gonna go off camera really quickly, throw on some liner, some mascara, and I'll be right back so we can test out these new blushes. So I added the LA Girl Powder Blue Liner and then some mascara, and I feel like that made me feel a lot better and like really completed the look. 
there's nothing wrong with the palette. I think it's just the shimmers threw me off because I've been trying so many palettes recently that have like these amazing duochromes and multi-chromes and iridescent sparkliness and just so much like amazing texture that these I'm just kind of like meh about. But the mattes are really, really pretty. They blended super easy and I feel like this liner plus the mascara just put everything together. So I'm liking the look a lot more. I just, I was having a little moment. So now let's go ahead and dig into the blush, which I think might be what I'm most excited about. Cause like I said, I really like their blush formula and I just love like little duos and the packaging. This first one here is called Exuberance and Soft. And here is what it looks like on the inside. So there's like a really beautiful, like burnt orange and then like a really pretty deep red. I'm gonna go ahead and do swatches of all the colors. Here is Exuberance, you can see, very pigmented. You have to go in with a pretty light hand if you have super fair skin like me. And then we have the shade Soft, which also looks really, really nice as well. So here's Exuberance, and here's Soft. Super pretty. And then next we have the shade Youth and Play. Youth is like a really pretty kind of soft, like peachy shade like a peachy coral and then play is like a corally orange with a lot of shimmer running through it so here's youth ooh which looks actually even more pinky peach on my finger it looks a, quite different than it does in the pan but i really really like that color and then here is play i feel like those look really really nice and they do have two color wash blush duos from their original collection, but I only have one of them. So this one is called Timeless and Daydream. Timeless is like a really beautiful kind of like pinky red. And then Daydream is like a neutrally warm shimmery shade. So I just wanted to swatch them next to each other just in case you were curious. So there's what they look like on my fingers. There's Timeless and Daydream, which you can see... They're all quite different. The closest will be Daydream, and I think this was Youth, but this Daydream is a lot more shimmery and a little bit more of like a rose gold, whereas this one's a little bit more peachy. Today for this look, I'm gonna go ahead and take the shade Youth just cause that's what's really appealing to me and I feel like it's gonna kind of match what's going on in my crease. So I think I'm just gonna go ahead and apply with my finger, but I'm just gonna like pick up like the tiniest little bit. And throw that on I don't have any powder products on my face right now so I'm assuming this will blend really nicely looks really pretty just using a tiny little bit still gives me a really good flush it's super super nice it has like a really soft subtle glow to it blends in really beautifully doesn't look patchy so I've got my foundation, concealer, bronzer, everything going right here. So I think that looks really, really nice. But I'm not surprised because like I said, I already knew that they did a really good blush formula. And I could say just from trying that one, it does seem to be the same formula as the previous palette. So for highlighter, I feel like I should go in with a liquid highlight. Just like to keep up with the glowy skin. I'm just going to grab the Iconic London Illuminator in the shade Shine and just throw... Little drop of that on top of my cheekbones just to add a little tiny bit of extra glow. For lips, I'm going to go into the Muse Beauty Lip Gloss in the shade Cezanne. Alright, so this is the finished look. I do like how it turned out. I feel like it's somewhere in between like subtle 80s makeup and very ready for spring in 2021. <laughs> I don't know it's something about the eyes and the lip combo but I do like it and I really really like the blushes I would say just from what I tried today I know it was just the palette and the two new blush duos but I really like the formula I feel like if you're looking for cream blushes you want to have like a little duo I feel like blush duos for $20 each isn't bad at all the packaging is super cute love the way it looks on the skin and then as far as the eyeshadow palette goes I, I like it. I like the mattes, but I just have a feeling that this is not going to end up being an absolute favorite for me. I don't know what it is. I feel like the overall picture is really pretty, but when I break down what shimmers were chosen, what mattes were chosen, like I think it's, it's nice, but it's just not my personal perfect palette. So let me know. Do you want me to do more looks with this? How are you feeling about this color story? And yeah, that's pretty much everything for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.